The UFC is for losers. Baby dad deadbeats love the sport. And dudes raised in the ghetto and the poor side of town that grew up fighting. Since these type of dudes know how to fight, they love watching other losers do it. I mean, look at this doof right here. You think this guy's got his business degree from a big prestigious college? I mean, did this guy even graduate high school? Probably not. That's why this dude has to be a fighter for a living. This is probably the one job in the world that accepts prisoners and felons. I mean, they gotta fight other dudes to win a chick's attention. Like they're so hard up for some pea sleeve. I mean like, you gotta be the biggest loser of the most epic proportions when all you can do for work is fight other dudes like a brute for the entertainment of people who actually have a normal job. I mean, what a pack of losers these guys are. Trying to show off to get the chick's attention. They get punched so hard that their ears stick out and they look like a doof like this. I mean, the UFC honestly makes me freaking sick to my stomach. Have you seen some of the chicks that started fighting recently in the past few years? These chicks are absolutely gross. They're a bunch of ex-druggy chicks. I love how most of them have like corn rolls or corn, whatever they call that freaking hairstyle. This crap. They'll be white chicks sporting this haircut. I mean, they look like they're fresh off of the streets. These chicks are absolutely nasty. Like freaking ex-tweaker chicks. I mean, yeah, I get it. When you're a felon and you've been to female prison, I'm pretty sure all you can do is fight once you get out because you're not going to attract a real boyfriend. I mean, you get you might get one of these doofs right here, right? One of these UFC freaks. I mean, like, if you're a female fighting in the UFC, what kind of screwed up traumatic childhood did you have? I mean, did your dad rough you up? Did your mom rough you up? Did you even have parents at all? Did your stepbrother or your foster brother kick your butt like every day and it taught you how to be a fighter? I mean, you just gotta wonder what kind of background do these chicks come from? Did they ever watch Disney movies growing up? Did dad not hug them? I mean, they were probably hooked on Halloween scary movies when they were four. You just gotta wonder, Jesus, what kind of childhood do these suckers have? But all jokes aside, I'd much rather have my daughter go into the prawn industry rather than the UFC. I mean, at least in Prano, she can be all ladylike and she can put on makeup and look like a princess and not get the snot knocked out of her. If I saw my daughter getting beat up by some lesbo, I'd want to jump in there and intervene. Okay, I'd probably do the same thing if she was in prawn. Okay, they're both bad industries, but I'd say the Pjorn is the lesser of the two evils because she's not getting hurt. Well, she wouldn't be getting hurt most of the time in prawn, right? But yeah, fighters in the UFC are nothing but a bunch of low IQ, 5 foot 6 dudes who were born into poor families. And instead of joining the army because of their tattoos, and they're too stupid to pass the aptitude test, they're now brutally getting the sheet knocked out of them in a cage, on live TV, in front of normal people who have an actual real job. I mean, what kind of loser low class brute do you gotta be? One of the ways you can tell that these guys are complete idiots is look at their forehead. Look at that brain space. They have like zero brain space. They look like freaking monkeys. I mean, they got the ear sticking out. They got the low forehead and like the big caveman brow. These guys are complete morons. I mean, what kind of brains does it take to fight somebody? You don't have to be a genius, right? These guys look completely stupid. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but, but Conor McGregor, he makes like a million dollars a fight. Yeah, that's all well and good, but I'm saying like the vast majority of these dupes right here that are just starting out and they're aspiring cage fighters, they're fighting at like little small Indian casinos and they're doing like dive bars and stuff like that. I'm sure most of them make like $32,000 a year because they do like 30 fights at like $1,000 a pop. And I get it, yeah, Conor McGregor, like he's the big dude on TV and he has a hot chick, right? Yeah, when you're like the number one fighter in the country and you're making a million dollars a fight, you're probably gonna attract like a hot chick or two. 
but all these aspiring dudes, you know, that make like 30,000 a year doing a little small Indian casino, they're attracting like dive bar chicks. It just makes me want to throw up. Knowing that there's some dudes on this planet would go this far, taking a beating on live TV like a freaking brute, all to impress some semi-decent looking ex-tweaker chick. I mean, this stuff is freaking brutal. These guys are just a pack of animals. This is just sick.